Hello everybody, welcome back to The Grinning Dragon, and today we're going to go ahead and look at some Kickstarters that are either ending soon or actually just started up mainly. Uh, one that's ending soon on this list here today is actually Dungeons of Drakenheim. Now, if you haven't heard of Dungeons of Drakenheim, where you been? <laughs> if you like if you like Dungeons Dragons, you probably heard of the Dungeon Dudes on YouTube. If you haven't, I suggest going and taking a look at their YouTube channel, subscribing. They are a very good wealth of knowledge right there, and really great guys just to kind of follow and you know um, watch. They are very helpful for DMs, give them ideas, give you player builds. You know, uh, just two very insightful guys, um, and they're just great. Okay, just take a look at them when you get a chance. But anyway, this is based off of their campaign setting, which is known as Drakenheim. Now, Drakenheim was destroyed, uh, according to this, about 15 years ago by a giant meteor shower um, that plunged the city into even more darkness as monsters and mutants started emerging from this thing, from the eldritch, uh, you know, machinations that fell from the sky causing these mutations okay um, but anyway take a look at them it's about $25 just to pledge for their uh, you know digital tier um, you know and if you go ahead and back some more you could get more like uh, their uh, limited edition booklet here um, you know and some dice uh, I think they're called Illyrium dice, um, if I'm not mistaken here. But anyway, uh, again, this is by uh, Monty Martin and Kelly McLaughlin. So take a look at them, okay? And uh, again, great guys. You'll get some minis on there if you pledge to the right level there, or you can just buy them as an add-on, okay? Um, again, backer kits going on. Now, a good thing to note is that if you notice, this art is kind of familiar. Um, that's because they're backed by Ghostfire Gaming now. Ghostfire Gaming is very known for like those grim, dark kind of settings. Um, and this Drakenheim kind of fits that setting there. Now, again, this is based off of their campaign that they've been live streaming. Um, so you can kind of check them out still on YouTube and find their games for, you know, Dungeons of Drakenheim. Um, I haven't really seen some myself, to be honest with you, but I, overall, I hear pretty good things about them. Uh, again, if you do like Eldritch Horrors, Eldritch Contaminations are here, and so are other world mutations, okay? So this is for levels 1 through 13, uh, so it's a pretty good starting point if you guys like kind of a darker type of setting uh, that isn't like Ravenloft or like a, you know, kind of spooky horror, more like cosmic horror, this would be kind of up your alley. Like I said, $25 just to start. You know, you get a fabric map. Now, this is a fabric map right here of Drakenheim. So, you back it up. That's what it'll be. Uh, you get some tr extra trinkets, tactical maps, packs there for 85 You get one card deck and some dice there, okay? Um, you also get a couple, like, warning signs here about Drakenheim. Uh, just some things to watch out for, which are always good. Okay. And you get the Lord of the Feast Spoils, which is the, I think is the best value out of all of this. Um, you get a little bit of extra stuff, including physical minis here, along with the physical book, and both the card decks here. Um, and you'll also get faction pins, because there's five factions in this uh, game here that you could choose one or help one or help multiple ones and see what goes on. Okay. Now, actually using the treasure is the highest one did you get you'll get an extra set of dice according with the dice carrier case right here okay um you get a, uh, your big dm screen everything in the second one and you have the special edition book from them okay so again up to you whatever you choose to do um this is almost pretty much a shoe in no matter what just because of who they're backed by and who they are so uh by all means, I mean, take a look at these minis. Um, I absolutely love these sculpts. The executioner himself is massive. Uh, you can compare it to Lenore right here. He's about normal human size, and he is like a huge, like, metal golem that looks like uh, carrying, like, a hammer, or maybe it's like some sort of 
axe is a little hard to tell, but and then of course over the feast. You know, gnolls are always kind of fun to have, unless this is just a werewolf that looks like a gnoll. As sent, his name is Lord of the Feast. And a rat prince, which is always kind of cool. Uh, rat humans, you know, to fight going in the sewers. So delirium dice is the main dice that you get here. Um, you'll have a small satchel in the regular edition, and then you get an ash wood box in the special edition, okay? Um... And they give you some like warnings about the delirium. Okay, so just make sure that you uh, kind of take word on that. May cause mutations if you use too much. Uh, of course, you get two card decks in this pack. You get the Edrish Contamination deck and the Magic of Drakenheim deck. Um, the Contamination deck comes with two type of things, symptoms and mutations. So it kind of keeps things interesting, kind of fresh. If you played like Kingdom Death, it's kind of like injuries and like uh, and your injury decks essentially except this kind of gives more to your pcs um which are pretty cool uh, in my opinion it's definitely a lot different than uh normal kind of decks you know there's longer lasting imagery injuries decks but this is like you're mutating and you're showing symptoms and what those symptoms kind of relate to and what they kind of get into so it's pretty cool um Magic of Dragonheim deck there. You get your magic items, some relics, spells, and contaminated spells here. And that sounds really interesting right there. But anyway, you can always purchase the add-ons. If, you know, you get the PDF, you can always add more stuff to it later on. You know, um, just depends on what you want to do. Okay. Um, you can always add on more stuff no matter what your level is too. And this just kind of showing the savings you get. Uh, usually in Kickstarter, the more you spend, the more you save. It's that simple. Okay? And these are all the stretch goals. I mean, they've knocked out every single one of the stretch goals. So you're getting everything you've seen above, depending on which one you got. And then all this extra stuff, random encounter decks, um, new adventures. I think there's like two, four new adventures. Uh, five, yeah, six new adventures, mutate monsters, and character sheets, too. So, I mean, like, this is well worth the time. So, take a look at it, especially since it's got a digital one. So, when you get the digital things, usually you'll get something relatively pretty, relatively quick, you know. Um, and shipping here, you know, it's Crimson Catalyst tier only. Um, so the, the shipping costs can change by the time you're done. Um, so this is just kind of like giving you like a summary of how much they would be, but you know, but again, you could always find them like Instagram, Twitter, pretty much everywhere. Dungeon dudes are very popular. And like I said, you know, forge with ghost fire here. Now that's a great thing to be back by right there to help you out. So definitely check this out if you're in the mood for a new campaign setting in the grim dark kind of universe i mean this is a good step in the right direction to introduce your players okay all right let's move on to the next one you guys you ever wanted some uh more depth to your combat and D, D 5e well check out injuries and vile deeds just started on kickstarter not too long ago it's going on to august 19th okay let's take a look um so this is kind of give you a feature right here. It gives you some a PDF or hardcover format that you could get. Uh, it gives you dozen feats, spells, items, and subclasses. It also gives you a core mechanic, which are injuries, two and two additional independent system plus PCs, NPCs, and monsters for them. Okay, you get full beautiful full cover art, full villain NPCs that are ready to go for your table and in campaign. Some extra plot hooks to kind of help out the DM extra personalities for those villains, and extra lore for those backgrounds. Same thing with monsters there, extra monster tactics, lore, and new mechanics. So, I mean, this kind of one is also a nice little kind of feature added onto it, but the main thing is to keep combat exciting, okay? That's their main thing. So injuries and fail deeds, you know, make combat a little bit more tactical, a little less, um, I hit you and I roll a, you know, a six for damage okay and then it's like okay well i rolled a net 20 
So I roll a five, so that's ten damage. You know, back and forth. It's, it's kind of dull, kind of boring. I mean, yeah, you could, you know, you go ahead and describe as best you can as a DM, but at the end, you know, you want something that, that kind of gives you a little bit more oomph, a little bit more impact. Um, I DM my in my game. He literally cut my dragon, uh, dragonborn's arm off uh, with a divine smite from a death knight. Okay, so. I, I love that kind of thing. It gave a kind of a permanent injury as my arm was literally lopped off and then disintegrated. Um, so I have to kind of move on knowing that, like, you know, part of my character was gone. But I'm here we'll get him on prosthetic and kind of give him, like, a bit of an upgrade. Um, but essentially kind of gives you something like that, you know, a little bit more flavor your fight now you get more spells kind of like this one here yeah, like instill nightmare is a fifth level illusion um hard combatants a feat that you get dead you get 10 more damage threshold for injuries there um and the book of the following is like a wondrous item sample okay um so i mean snap plugs everything's kind of at the ready um here's some kind of things you know fresh taken comedy kind of geek native um, D and Ding Bats says, like, you know, it's a little bit of thing to spice it up. I mean, that's what's cool. I like things that kind of help and spice things up a bit. Okay. Um, see, it says here, they give you injury thresholds and it kind of shows you, um, this kind of like a little sample of the book there. So they'll change the design up as it goes on, but it's kind of a like short little mock up. Okay. Um, so. If you played, again, I'm going to fall back to uh, Kingdom Death here. You know, Kingdom Death has permanent injuries for your characters, but you can just kind of swap them out. But this one's your actual PC, so you could get, suffer an injury, and the DM could say, you know, I break your arm. You have a bone now jutting out of your arm as it kind of snaps under the pressure of, like, that hammer hitting it or something like that. Or, like, this, you cut off the uh storm giant's arm yes he kind of uh goes to the ground on one knee screaming uh but of course you're bloodied and seem tired so gives you something idea you know um something to give you uh that's kind of like their stretch goals right here um gonna add more to it um they do have a website if you want to check them out again this is kind of like something that i i like doing is showing off these newer kickstarters um again there's always risk when it comes to kickstarter so um if you if this is something you would want then go ahead and back in i think this would be just fine coming out uh myself um i don't think i i think i've only backed one campaign that failed um which was unfortunate uh because it just i guess just didn't pan out uh, with the group, but hey, um, but well, majority of the time, the Kickstarters kind of see it through and they'll get you what you pay for. But again, Kickstarter is not anything to guarantee it. Okay. Just an FYI. So, but definitely check this out. Uh, this is a great idea, you know, injuries. I like the fact that you get actual like NPC villains and plot hooks to add to them. Um, you know, and just kind of ways to add them to your world and whatnot. But the fact that you get like an actual like, you know, injury kind of uh, table is really interesting. But check it out. Again, this is by uh, Lone Colossus Games. This is the Injuries and Vile Deeds Kickstarter. It's going on until August 19th. Okay. Hey guys, did you know Green Dragon has a shop now? That's right. We have a spread shop. Any purchases made on the spread shop gives you some merchandise and helps the channel grow just a bit. All right, so go ahead and check it out. Uh, link is this down below in the description. So anything purchased here, again, does help the channel. You can hit shop now, see the designs that I have. I'll be adding more designs as time goes on, of course. And uh, thank you. And let's get back on to the video. So do you ever want to go to like kind of like uh, the desert, visit Egypt and stuff? Well, Necropolis and an epic adventure in the desert sands is a Kickstarter for you to look at here for 5e, okay? So 
It's by Necromancer Games, which created about six other Kickstarters in the past here, okay? Um, this is based off of Gary Igex's kind of old work on, uh, you know, the whole Necropolis. And they're kind of bringing it back in a kind of a new 5e type of setting, okay? Um, it's going to set you in the kingdom of Kemet, and it's for adventurers 7th and ninth level, okay? Um, usually if you've got like a group of 6 to 8 people in their season, this is probably for you. But otherwise, if you want to start a brand new adventure, kind of in this desert sands, you can probably take things from this book and, uh, you know, manipulate it to your setting, okay? Uh, it's kind of like some of the stuff you get here. You can get the village, uh, temple, poster, map of the tomb, you know, dozen NPCs, 50 new monsters, new character options, and magic items, which are always fun, okay? So, it's going to be a hardcover book. Uh, looks like maybe a PDF, it looks like here. Um, you're going to have a lot of tabletop assets, definitely virtual tabletop assets, and which are really neat. So, these are very high-detailed Maps, as you can see right here, for virtual table toppers, okay? Um, you got Fantasy Grounds Unity Pack. You get the whole asset packs. You know, it tells you the difference between the options. You get some rewards on them. If you do the collector's editions, you get a GM screen, which looks like this here. <laughs> you know, it's uh, kind of like it's some Jafar-looking guy coming at you. You know, hey. It tells you all the pledge levels and the pricing. Now, that's a little small for me to read, but hey, guess what? You can just scroll down here and it kind of tells you what you get when you go ahead and back this, okay? Now, if the desert settings for you, this would be something nice to kind of back. A little different. Um, you now, we had Rhyme of the Frost Mahidian and the um, Raven Guide to Ravenloft book released not too long ago. So, I mean, if you're wanting a mummy setting for Ravenloft, yay, grab this. This this might actually help you a bit, kind of design that. Um, but again, you know, this just started. It's going on until August 21st. So you have plenty of time to back it if you want to look into it, okay? All right, let's move. Now, I mentioned earlier, Professor, uh, about Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. And right now we got Professor Gilroy's Guide to the Fae, okay? So this is more of a Celtic addition to your 5th edition D&D games. So if you want to add more Celtic and Slavic myths to your games, this would be it. You get 50 new fake creatures inspired by those myths. Um, so if you're very into that uh, Celt Celtic society, if you're Scottish, Irish, you know, this... This is a nice little add-in for you, okay? You get very well done hand-drawn art, I think. Uh, nice lineages there. Um, just monster tactics and encounters to face them, okay? Um, now, this is kind of more like going into the Fey Wilds here. So this is kind of a good little step up here to dip your toes into something different. Um, you know, Fey are known to be mischievous creatures, but hey, this one here might be a little bit of difference to them, okay? Because they're basing off of that Slavic Celtic myth. So uh, it's not too hard to back, not too much money. It's just fifteen dollars. You get a PDF copy, twenty-five and fifty, and so on and so forth. Now the big thing is the last two one fifty create a fake creature, and you give them notes, and they'll create one for you, and it'll be in the book. Now at two hundred, you could design your own fake folk NPC. And it will include original art based on the character you provide, and that's drawn uh, by the creator of this book, of course. Okay. Uh, and of course, this the whole thing that they're more than just monsters; they're actually highly intelligent fey folk. You know, they live in the fey wilds, and uh, based on Celtic mythology, like the Selkie here. And they kind of tell you about the tactics, a little bit of lore behind them, and what they do, snap blocks, and then counter hooks to beating a Selkie. You got the Puka, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, and counter hooks for them. And of course, every hand drawn, kind of old school style of art right there on the books. Okay. Um, now you do get to enter into a one shot, you get a chance to participate in that. Okay. Um, it's a hundred bucks by the Never Not DM, um, 
it seems pretty interesting. I like that Kickstarters are doing that now, where it's like, hey, you know, we'll do a one shot if you know you sign up for that. It's very usually it's a very limited kind of uh, group that gets in those. Okay, and then you could always create your own fake creatures, which is you know create a fake tier. Essentially, you're kind of get making them looks like a uh, ecology of the fake creature that you're wanting, and they'll go ahead and design one. Um, okay, and you could get a full, full-on designed one if you go with that NPC tier. Okay, and it looks like they're going through drive through RPG, which I highly recommend if you are a first-time Kickstarter. Um, which pretty much kind of breaks down everything here, which is go through the drive through method, which is publisher, drive through RPG, get your shippings, and customer satisfaction. And, you know, a lot faster rather than going through publisher, printer, back to a publisher, shipping out, and then to the customer. A lot less time. So check them out if you're into Celtic. Slavic folklore. Um, it looks pretty interesting. Definitely give them a check. And uh, again, they're going until August 16th on this guy here, Professor Gilroy's Guide to the Fae. Okay, so this one isn't actually live yet. This will be live coming up on Tuesday. Um, that's going to be August 3rd. That's coming up really quick. Now, this one caught me by surprise. Uh, I've actually seen it a while back. And what's really interesting is it's actual, like, dragon eye dice. Now, you know, not like legit dragons, of course, but you know how um, you get these dragon eye dice, and it's usually just a button that's kind of floating in the middle there, or maybe has something. Now, this one is an actual, like, round eye ball that's placed inside the center of the dice as seen right here I'll show you I'll maybe lower the music there but that's kind of what it is it's a 360 degree sphere okay and it's placed dead center looking at you on the critical hit and you get um the, every color is a little different on the eye um which is insane and of course, they make them in different styles, like a D6, D20, D12, D8, you know, anything. It's a whole dice set. And you get the red, green, blue, black, white, all chromatic dragons. Okay? Now, there's two kinds of cuts they do. They do either the sharp edges or the rounded edges. Okay, so you can kind of see the difference right here with the legendary cut, uh, which gives a more rounded edge finish on the tips, on the corners. And then you can definitely see the difference when you go to the regal cuts, which are flat, straight, nice sharp edging, okay? Um, nice crystal sharp edged finish. So I'm more into the legendary style. I do like kind of the rounder dice. I'm not too much into more of the pointy dice. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can always sign up right here. Uh, you get your first name, email address. I'll have a link for this down below. But there's also a contest that you could do for this dice right here. And this is kind of what they kind of look like when you get them. Now, if you see this thing right here, this thing right here, back of it. That is an actual little dragon egg thing that they're going to make for these dice set that you could put the dice inside of. Okay, to kind of transport them. To make it extra special. So this one's definitely a collector's item. Now again, you're getting a whole round ball inside of it. So like an actual eye, it looks like. And they're going to give you like a nice little carrying case for it with a little dragon egg inside. Put all your dice in. I mean, these things look amazing and i'm super excited for it all right and then again you could enter the contest that you got going on i have 11 entries myself you could add more entries the more you do right here share with your friends the more you click there and you know and you could win 
you know, uh, top three shares will win one color of their choice there, okay? And uh, current leaders right here kind of shows you them right down there. But anyway, um, I kind of like low, but if you click the link below, kind of helps me out a bit and could get you some more entries as yourself, okay? And get you started on trying to win this here. But again, you know, when you do enter this contest, I believe you enter in the mailing list. Um, but again, Dragonite Dice is coming out this Tuesday. This is like a Kickstarter that I'm very excited for. I don't know if a few of my friends are. We've always really wanted some intense dice. It's actually kind of funny because I just bought some of some like Dragonite dice myself recently. So I bought like a green set. And it came like with like a button and it's just a regular you know, all around side of dice, you know, I could see the eye in it, but like, again, on the other side, on the bottom is just dark green. And, you know, it's just a button. It's a flat button. This thing here, the place that did center. So when you do get that critical, it's staring like right at you. All right. Or like a max number right there. I mean, it's fantastic. I'm super excited for this here. Check them out. Uh, coming out this Tuesday. Uh, definitely well worth your time. Okay? And uh, that's it for Kickstarters, guys. So definitely check them out. Um, Tell me what you guys think about these Kickstarters. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, also add a few more links down below, give us a like if you like the video, and for more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. One subscribe definitely helps out the channel grow and kind of shows me what you guys are being interested in, okay? Um, but again, until next time, please check out these Kickstarters, support uh, your local creators, uh, well, I wouldn't say local creators, but support your creators that are in this, we're all kind of in this together here, guys, so, um, but just take a look at these Kickstarters, tell me what you think down below, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, never stop smiling, guys, have a great weekend.